Welcome and happy birthday, Pisces. It's good to have you here on Venusian Empress Oracle. We're going to be getting a reading for you for this week, checking into those new moon energies that are coming up at this time. This came off of the snow full moon, so we're going to be looking at the Priestess of the Light Oracle cards along with Moonology cards. We're also going to be tapping into the Light Seer's Tarot to see what is going on today. we got Six of Cups and Nine of Wands coming out. So you could be uh, dealing with a karmic relationship potentially at this time, Pisces. We're also seeing Ten of Pentacles, but it could also be almost like uh, the best and worst of both worlds in a sense. You know what I mean? All right, well, we're going to definitely look into things and see what's going on for you. How you guys been doing out there? I truly appreciate you, and I hope that these readings are resonating with you. Do let me know down in the comments below and hit the like button if they are. We're also going to be getting some advice from our Divine Doors message cards as well as the Lover's Oracle cards. Definitely stick around to the end for all of the good stuff and get your question ready because I have my handy dandy divination coin yes we're going to answer your question with the flip of a coin so stick around let's see what's going on for the amazing pisces dear angels ancestors way shores and guides we honor you for this space and ask you to show us what we need to know thank you and blessings to you, Pisces. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. All of your likes, comments, shares, and donations truly help the channel to grow and are so appreciated. Don't forget to let me know how these readings are resonating with you down in the comment section below. And don't forget to also subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of the videos I put out. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on with you. Priestess of the Light, show us what we need to know. Okay, that was pretty good there. Time to put an end to something. So you are definitely, it looks like, perhaps ending something, only to begin something new, perhaps. 19 comes to a 10. So that's just, this is all about choosing what's going to be best for you today, is what I see with this, really. It's almost like you have two decisions before you, or two choices before you, but Ultimately, I get the impression that you're going to choose yourself. Duality is coming out here today. Many meanings, misunderstandings are on the bottom. So you could be dealing with uh, misunderstandings between people or not feeling like you understand somebody or that they understand you. All right, there's definitely some duality going on and maybe that's what's causing you to make this choice today, all right? On top, we have Divine Masculine Electric Active Power. Maybe you are going to be wearing the pants at this point and taking charge of the situation. That's kind of what I was hearing with that. All right, 19 and Death and Rebirth. Let's see what this has to say for you, Pisces. This card indicates that a time of closure and great transition is at hand. This may seem like a relatively minor event, or it may be something big, like the ending of a relationship, a job, or a long-time residence. Definitely let me know how this is resonating with you below. Remember, however, that this card signifies important change. Even out of the most difficult experience or the deepest darkness comes a new life filled with light and unexpected blessings. The Black Panther is a symbol of power through transformation. Although the Panthers here are intense, they bring the mystical message that you have the power to let go of your fear of the unknown. So don't be afraid to take that leap of faith forward on something that you may feel or the direction you may feel is best. When you do so, you will come out of the darkness enlightened and wake up to a newly conscious life. This is going to be very radical for you, whoever you are out there, Pisces. <laughs> Definitely hit the like button if you're resonating with this. And this could be all around the home with the 444 coming up there. The Panther Priestess dressed in white comes to tame the difficult energies within this transition. 
She carries the antler totem, icon of clear perception, and she directs you to open your awareness to the new opportunities coming your way. I feel like you already have, and maybe this is why you are choosing yourself instead of conflict and duality, perhaps just putting an end to it all. Any change that may present itself should be considered from a spiritual point of view. Look within. Whether you are dealing with a lost job or a shifting or ending of a relationship, there is a deeper message or lesson in the experience. So make sure you find it and learn it so you don't go back through that Nine of Wands energy and have to learn it again. And it did seem like it was around relationships because of that Six of Cups energy. We'll do a Celtic cross spread to figure it all out. Trust in yourself and in your future. For you are stronger and more resourceful than you realize. Your personal power is charged with the energy of your eternal spirit. It will light the darkness and carry you forward into a truly wonderful new life. Beautiful. But we definitely got to deal with the details, right, before we move on. So maybe you're wrapping up, you know, that in a, um, if you're, if it's a relationship and you're married, of course, divorce papers, you know, there may be a lot of details within business or relationship, doesn't matter. There's always things you have to, you know, tie up those loose ends, if you will, before you move on. Here is your affirmation, Pisces. I turn to my eternal soul for power and direction. I fearlessly face the future. I love that. Again, I feel like a power, that masculine power coming through here. And with that death and rebirth, choosing yourself, all right? You're seeing the good and the bad, maybe even the ugly of the situation. And you're allowing yourself to understand it for what it is, I feel, and make new choices going forward. Ones that really are going to be supportive of what it is that you're trying to build and grow. So let's take a look at the energy of right now and looking out. I said I was going to do a Celtic cross, but actually I'm going to clarify these cards that come out because we're going to get a present energy for now. And then we're going to get one for week one, week two, week three. So how it's looking for this next moon cycle. So what's going on? Currently, trust all will be well. So this is the main energy right now that Spirit's asking you to get grounded with that Virgo energy. Find out where Virgo is in your chart. And uh, maybe that's where you need to perhaps put some work in as well to help you with this aspect of duality and stepping into your masculine power, all right? So trust all will be well. That is the energy of the current moment. What about the next week? So you definitely may be ending something. Could be with a Virgo energy. Week one, speak your world into being. And this is Gemini energy. So this is being honest with someone. This is being truthful and speaking your truth, more or less. And the way that it's going to be, I feel not accepting, um, yeah, reveal what needs to be seen. So I feel like, the, you know, you need, you're at a point where you're being more honest with yourself and looking at being honest with those around you, particularly, you know, if that's a job you're at or a relationship. But again, I really do feel this could be a relationship. We're going to get more out though. Week two, what do we need to know? Cool your emotions. So something may definitely have you fired up about this situation, about, you know, maybe someone not working with you to try to tie up these loose ends. Aries energy coming out here. So any of these could be in your chart or you could d be dealing with, you know, someone who has these in their chart. In any case, Aries energy coming out in week two. There's something that definitely could uh, throw you off balance. Um and put you in your emotions, you know what I mean? Get you all fired up, and I feel that it is around this being honest with your, you know, this person, um, and then seeing that you mean business, more or less, that you are uh, moving forward with your plans, you're balancing out with that duality energy with the Gemini. So week three, we have forgive. That's gonna be on the books for being able to move forward, to go with that flow, all right, so Pisces, this is your energy. 
forgive yourself perhaps for you know this relationship for allowing yourself to stay in whatever situation that you've been in for so long all right and not moving forward sooner perhaps step into your power look how beautiful she feels in that energy of that power and more Aries energy coming through so that could be strong in your chart Pisces on top we have honor your feelings and this is you once again with the Piscean energy so this is going to be a time for you to really be honest with yourself and the things that you know need to be ended you know what I mean not perhaps allow people to talk you into staying somewhere you know you're really not happy even if things are you know, from a financial or stability standpoint, not really anything to complain about, you know, but it's like, you know, are you really happy? And I feel like, you know, that's the energy here that we may be struggling with. Comfort or true happiness, true soul happiness, you know what I mean? And reconnecting with ourselves. I really feel this reconnecting energy within ourselves. Trust all will be well. What do we need to know about this energy? For Pisces, trust all will be well. So this is a time to, again, heal yourself. You know, you know what's good for you, what's not good for you with that Four of Cups energy in reverse. But this is a time that, you know, it's really going to be important for you to focus on healing from this situation allowing that death and rebirth energy to take hold. This was facing the past, so it's gonna bring justice to all of those things that have happened in the past. It's gonna balance everything out for you, all right? But the healing is where it's most important always. We gotta take the blindfold off, you know, not play the victim any longer. See the situation for what it is and what it isn't. Maybe this was not our, you know, wish fulfillment you know this wasn't exactly what we had hoped for you know now if you know sex was something if it was passionate it's definitely not passionate any longer is what i'm seeing with this energy speak your world into being yeah six of cups energy i feel like this is a reconnecting with yourself right this is almost like I see you having a conversation within yourself, you know, and really figuring this out. Like, what is it that's going to bring you true happiness? And, you know, it could be evaluating this toxic, you know, connection perhaps that you've been in. Um, and really speaking your truth about it and how you feel about it and where you see it going, you know. How many cups are here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's six cups but we had nine of cups in reverse so there's definitely not been happiness with this situation if you're dealing with a person that more or less wants to be in control but maybe doesn't even run their lives very well they're you know always running from the truth you know I just feel like you know this is a type of energy that's not serving you as you're trying to move forward and regain your balance and there's a lot that you know you're going to be rewarded for as a result of choosing you and your own happiness you know what I mean the wheel spinning in your favor happiness but it's all a result of you choosing yourself turning down these either self-sabotaging behaviors again staying in a job too long staying with a partner you know you know is lying and cheating maybe you're letting this person know you're over it and that's what's gonna you know cause these emotions to flare up within you maybe somebody's trying to make you think that you know they're the ones that's going to really bring this happiness for you but you've already seen right you are the empress you are the sun when you're in your energy when you're in your element i feel like you're very confident and happy just go lucky and not really a care in the world but in this energy it's definitely left you pretty heartbroken i feel to think that someone could actually treat you this way and then have the gall to try to stop you from doing what's best for you 
the world. I really do see you putting an end to this cycle. I see you being over with this person, you know, getting you out of pocket, if you will. Definitely doesn't leave you feeling very good after dealing with this person with the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse, all right? This is something I feel like you're definitely over. You have no love for any longer to be dealing with a Scorpio or, um, yeah, water sign for sure. Queen of Cups as well as Queen of Pentacles coming out here. I feel like if this is you, you're just focused on your happiness, your stability, and that's what you are going to do, you know? Just close your eyes and go within yourself reconnecting within yourself, you know, shutting out and cutting off everything that doesn't serve you any longer. Forgive. All right? So don't let this keep you stuck because this is time for you to figure out which direction you want to go moving forward. What's going to help you to do that is to get out of your emotions and not be, you know, too um, riled up about the situation, if you will. You know what I mean? Because you have some important decisions to make, and it's all around your money. I feel like you're seeing, though, that even though you're not sure which direction to go, you know that you need to do something with this Knight of Swords energy. You've definitely received some truth, found out something with that Page of Swords energy is what it looks like. It's really going to help you to get out of this situation and to be able to move forward, right? No longer putting any energy or work into that. Getting back into your element, which is that magician energy. You know, you're naturally one that um, has that ability to do great things. And you can make these changes pretty easily, you know, once you're in the right place and you understand where your true happiness lies. But right now, what's important is honoring how you truly feel and are you happy with the way that your life has come to be at this point? Or are you ready for some big changes, you know, and to really start feeling connected once again? Let's see what the Divine Doors message cards have for us. Let me know how this reading is resonating for you and hit the like button. Thanks so much. For Pisces, please. Pisces, we have the energy of patience coming through here. <laughs> and this person may have tried your patience, is what I'm hearing time after time again. Everything soon will come to light, and then you will see things will be all right. All right, so once again, this is telling you to trust and know that. You know, you're going to make the decision that is right for you. And there is a big change that's coming, whether it's relationship or whatever. So be prepared for it. You know, see the bigger picture of things and how there is so much more out there than what you currently may be aware of. Three of Cups says, a toast to friendship in the afternoon sun. Three cups in happiness. Three cheers are done celebration is near so I do feel like you are this looks like a vineyard doesn't it or something like that maybe somebody's having a wine tasting so allow yourself to be patient with these changes that are happening maybe spend some time with good friends and celebrate you know your life and how wonderful things are for you you have to get into that emotion and thought process before it can actually manifest into your life but absolutely you add that magician energy before you at this time and now you're just being asked to be honest with yourself right be honest with yourself about what direction you want to go because you are the magician forgiveness is going to be a big key factor in this though between now and the next moon cycle, new moon cycle in this case. All right, let's see what love has to say for you, Pisces. So we have an energy here that says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So if you have been dealing with a controlling type of person who it's like, you know, if nobody can have you, if nobody, if I can't have you, nobody can have you, or, 
you know, they're just an obsessive type and they're just always checking on you and, you know, seemingly doting on you, but it maybe it seems like more control, like they're just trying to check up on you and keep tabs on you where you're at. This energy says wait. Do not rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So whatever this is, we definitely need to hold off, especially if it's a secret admirer coming forward today. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Mm. Be aware of that, Pisces, and definitely let me know down in the comments section what this is all about. We did see death and rebirth, so again, endings and beginnings. So there could definitely be someone else that is wanting to buy for your attention. Let's get your question answered. Maybe you'll want to know who that secret admirer is. All right, let's do it in three, two, one. Ooh, wow. The answer is yes, darling, yes. And it knocked over my card, so definitely it sounds like it's time to move on. But definitely you know let nature take its course don't move too fast on things make sure you're not dealing with another controlling type you know what i mean but if it's all good then awesome take your time with it and let it unfold and develop naturally so it'll be amazing don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and bell notification stay amazing pisces i'll see you soon bye for now